Hello everyone, this is the third episode of FTP Interactions with Hachiri and TWPI. Now, where we left off, we had just finished getting the items to make our overworld portal. I have been preparing while on stream, getting a few things ready. I've made a bunch of potions and I've started getting some of the stuff done. So the first thing I did is I went ahead and got things set up for a leather chest. So to make the leather, like I said, it's just leather, pressed wax for the hardened leather, and then this is basically how you make the leather chest. So we'll just take that out of there and grab those two quests and we will get our shinies because those shinies are valuable. And we gained this one, which gives us another trophy. Which we're going to just kind of stick in here for right now. We will deal with that trophy in a little bit. Now, one thing I'm currently waiting on is I'm waiting on for more leather. Because I do want to be in full leather armor before we go out there. The other thing is we need to make a few other odd pieces of various things so first we're going to take this in here we're going to slap this in here and we're going to start making one of each garden the reason we're doing this is so that we can get all of the pam's um fruit gardens vegetable gardens etc and we're going to duplicate them with plant balls so we're going to take a stack of this, and I'm pretty sure it's just the hammer and water. Pretty sure. Yeah, but it needs more durability than I have on my hammers. So... We're gonna make another hammer. And we're going to pummel these into oblivion. I'm gonna actually put both of these in here because I'm gonna repair that in a few. Wow, that used up the entire hammer. Alrighty then. Another hammer. Well, I'm just going to grab all of the sticks. It looks like our first garden is ready. We'll do the next garden while we're working on this. And we'll go ahead and add some more sticks. Never enough sticks. kind of wish I had a mod that shows me the durability remaining on this, but we do with what we got. Four 
four leather there, four there. So this will be enough to get the pants made. Super drink. Arid garden. Okay. Chopping wood, so much fun. I think this is my sacred second favorite pastime. as well because uh, we're going to end up using it. Let's just combine these with your shearing power combined. I can't see a thing. so dark up here. I'm probably gonna have to light a torch. Just so I can see what's going on. Hardcore darkness for the win. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is what I have to look forward to in the overworld. Pitch, blackness, and doom. Doom! Alright. Got the pineapple. Soggy Garden. One more to go. Let's see. Got some chicken. Got some feathers. Grab that leather. Grab that. Okay. Alright, so. We almost got everything. I know I've been kind of muttering to myself as I go through things. But we almost have everything. We need 
four more, three more leather. Um, or actually two more, because I already got one right here. So two more leather. And then we should, should with quotations, be ready. Now, these I'm going to put right here along with the coagulated plant balls because we're going to multiply these later when we get ready to set up our large garden. Now, one other thing I need to do. couple of buttons and grab some earplugs. Now it may seem strange to be um, using that instead of a helmet. The reason being is Fire Nice is in here and if I end up in an ocean biome uh, when I go through the overworld portal um, I don't want to be anywhere near sirens and not have earplugs. Because I'm basically just going to float to my death, if that's the case. So, while we're waiting on some of this other stuff, let's get a few of these other quests knocked out. So, one of the things that we need to do is I need to make liquid dirt. Um, that will help with expanding this, but it will also help with a few other things. So we throw that down. We we'll grab that and we slap that in there. And basically dirt followed by a bucket of water will give you the same type of bucket back as liquid dirt. Now remember how I said that you're going to want to drop it off the edge? So that's what we're going to do. We're going to basically drop this off the edge, let it go all the way down. Um, should be down by now. And then just bucket it up. And then poof. We instantly have dirt going all the way down to the void. And now we can go to this quest right here and submit our bucket of dirt. Does that let us keep the bucket? At least lets us keep the bucket. And then, oh, it gave us a sprinkler. We will never use it. Probably. Probably not use it. Um... Am I missing a quest in here? Healing salve. For that, I need dandelions. Now, I don't know what biome I'm in. But depending on the biome, it's going to depend on the type of flowers we get. When I do this. So, we're just going to find out. Right, that's some um, grass. And uh, we're getting our standard saplings. Alright, there's some yellow flowers, which is good because we needed that. Ho 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 ho, we got oxidaisies. That is actually a very big deal. Because that means we will be able to make a pure daisy. Now what is the thing for the pure daisy? Let's find out. So the pure daisy requires the healing ointment and mana. So we got to find some mana. That's fine. I can live with that. I can live with that. Looking at this, so we need seeds, some yellow flower, some other flower, and a bowl. Um, 
to make that, we're going to need a flint knife. Now, a flint knife has many, many uses. The first is making bowls. The second is, if you notice, it is a six damage weapon with fire aspect two. Very good for starting out. And I love the fact that um, you don't get like four packs of the balls. I know that seems a little crazy, but I am always annoyed that I have to spend so much materials, inventory, etc. on uh, those things. Oh, we got a bandage out of that. Nice. All right, so we're going to... And, uh, we're going to wish we had storage. Alright. Oh, I did make two more chests for some stuff. Apparently, I planned for this. Alright, so we're going to stick these flowers in here for now. And I may end up duping some, but uh, for right now, they're there. And do I have my leather? Yeah, there's one, two, I think that was all we needed. Uh, math checks out, so. Grab you, hop over here. Do you need to be on the bottom? Are you like shape? You are shape specific. All right. We have our boots. We have our armor. We have our earplugs. We are nearly ready to go. We're going to put away some of this excess stuff we don't need. And um, we need to build the overworld portal. Wow, that's timing. Was that always up there? Did I miss that? That's there now. Now where was I? Oh yes. Getting ready to go to the overworld. So we gotta build a platform. Um, I'm going to build this away from the island. It's going to have a bridge. It's going to be gated. Um, and the reason being is because just as I can go on the outside, nasty, horrible things can come in as well. The other thing is I'm going to need a built scanner. Now this I won't be able to build to much later because we need polyethylene. But this one we can build and eventually this one we can get but for right now we're just gonna have this so we're gonna grab a scanner and a module and we're going to go to here, and it gives us Ender Pearl Dust, and we're going to be saving that. Because the Ender Pearl Dust if I'm not mistaken once we get the autoclave made, yeah, we can What's the difference between these two? Yeah, this is a hundred percent chance. But once we get the 
autoclave made. We'll be able to get an ender pearl and then we'll get the range upgrade. So we're going to save that for the ender pearl. But to get the range upgrade, basically, it is just the hammer and covalescence dust all around it. So we're going to throw that right there, throw you in there. And bam. Just like that. And to put these in, you basically just shift right click and it uh, opens up this inventory. Now these are the active modules. These are your storage for other modules. Typically, I will run a single scanner plus two range upgrades. That lets me pretty much see all the way to bedrock and get an idea of where things are. Um, and then if I want specific ones, I'll have them all like stored in here. to make our platform. I think I will extend it from here. And we will go from there. Portal itself. Want to buy slime boots. And now to set up the walls and such before we open this. So we will go with fencing of the stone variety. We're going to have a couple of gates. 
make a couple of fence gates that way we can close this off a little bit and that is that now I'm gonna throw a couple of these things in here because I don't want to lose them we are going to do something that is extraordinarily important and that is setting a home now I'm not going to go out here at night time that is suicide but we are going to open the portal and while we wait for day we're going to go and work on the architecture craft so give us a little something to do to pass the pass time. and a plate and two stone slabs. Do I have any spare stone slabs? I do. Excellent. So I just have wood. Alright. Make a wooden pressure plate. And bam. This will help us on building a house later. Slap that right there for now. And is anything else missing? Just this. And the safe space is completed. We have completed the very first chapter. All right. So the overworld, let's kind of take a look at this just a little bit before we delve in. Now, this basically lets us know that the biomes differ based on the temperature directions you go in okay now this is letting us know that chunk generations are three by three with ore gen so that there's always two by two chunks of ore and uh, things of that nature basalt this is going to be one of the things we're going to be looking for when building our base. This is letting us know that the plants, the literal plants mod, flourish above large mineral veins. So, based on what type of plant that we find on the ground, lets us know what kind of mineral veins underneath. And here we have red granite, marble, black granite, and basalt. And the reason it's pointing out those four is those four have a hardness that's harder than um, stone slash cobblestone and is resistant to this guy, Mutant Steve. So they haven't fixed this yet, but as it says, warning Mutant Steve is currently very aggressive with block breaking and can even break your grave. This should change in a future version, but for now, be careful. Well, they've had this up for a while now. Mutant Steve still breaks all that stuff. They haven't fixed it. I don't know if they're ever going to fix it. Um, but a lot of people have been waiting for the update. They say it's coming, and then we hear nothing. 
Um, but basically, these types of blocks and then the marble from Astral Sorcery and such, uh, a lot of those blocks are um, immune to mutant Steve's destructive capabilities. Now, the granite and the basalt um, are moderately abundant. Like, when you find a vein of it, it's huge. It's massive. But you need proper tools to be able to mine it. You need at least iron or higher to be able to mine it. Um, so, it's going to be a little bit before we can get to that. But we don't have to worry about that because we're not going to be really dealing with mutant steve until we hit the bronze age and it's going to be very very rare so if we light the area up a good distance all around where we decide to build our base we're not going to be seeing mutant steve um because he's not going to be in a spawn radius of us now that's going to require a lot of torches i mean a lot of torches or candles so that is why we're gonna actually have gardens devoted to just candle bearing cotton um, we're gonna go through so much of that it's kind of crazy to be perfectly honest so Grab this. Where is my pot? There it is. Uh, take the pot. And make a whole bunch of this. And uh, we're just going to make a bunch of candles. Now, I am going to go to the overworld with a handful of things. We're going to be bringing at least some cobble at first. Um, is boat vanilla? Let's see. Boat is thankfully vanilla. So we're going to have a boat. We're going to have a few stacks of cobble. Um, I will bring a axe that is not about to die. I am also going to build... Uh, can I craft it here? No. I'm going to get a flint pickaxe. It's only got a low durability, but it'll be enough. It'll be enough for the initial. And there's a few tools that we're going to be making once we can find an iron vein. We're basically going to get that, come back here, and we're going to smelt it into an iron block. Um, and or ingots, depending on what we're able to do do because we do need to get um, a cast so we may want to look for uh, what is the vein is it magnetite uh, I believe it's magnetite but let's take a look Magnetite does have gold. So we're going to look for the Magnetite vein, which is the Glorious Daisy that we're going to be aiming for. And it is daylight. So... Um, I am going to store this here because if everything else is replaceable... But that. And 
We're gonna grab just a couple more stacks. Nice even six stacks, that would be enough for a platform. And one last thing. Playing this area. And we're off to the overworld. Let's pray we're not over an ocean surrounded by horrible things. And oh my gosh, we're not over an ocean. We are, however, up in the sky. But all right, I'll take it. I do, however, need to uh, get back up there. So. All right. Oh, well, yeah. Let's, um... Let's get rid of this string. What is that? I don't remember seeing a chicken like that. Wait, is that a redstone chicken? It's a something chicken. Oh crap. It is a zombie chicken. And just like that, we're dead. So after you die, you won't be able to uh, eat for a little bit. Where did we die? We died nearby. We died right down there. And there's our zombie chicken. Waiting for us. Yeah, all sorts of horrible things coming to us already. How do I have that stuff coming after me too? Alright. So that's fun. <laughs> So there we are. Welcome to Interactions. Where you will die. If to be Interactions deaths are not an if, they are a win. And you guys have just witnessed my very first death on this mod pack. I seriously have never seen a zombie chicken before though, like... Who... who makes zombie chickens a thing? Like, how is that a thing? I mean, I get it. Horrible monsters and all that, but... 
still, zombie chickens. And I now have to make this a safe area. And uh, build a cage around it. Can I eat yet? Oh good, I can't eat now. out and we're gonna go I think three all around Go from there. Well, I think I will probably try to connect right there and build a bridge across and work our way down. I want to light up that death cave right behind us. I do not want that right there. And I kind of wish we weren't in a snow biome. Uh, that may prove useful. We shall see. At least on the bright side. Um, on the bright side, we are floating in the air. So, odds of horrible things happening to us are pretty slim in terms of uh, mass mob invasion. I wonder if just these two will be enough. Let's find out. No. Still need the ones in the front. But I should only need two. Yes, okay, that's good. And then we will do A simple cap so that wyverns can't uh, swoop in and murder us horribly. I'm just going to turn this on for a second so I can see the surface as I'm doing things. Having those four there apparently give enough light to prevent this from doing anything bad. Ah, or not. Does it do it now? Yeah, okay, cool. And we're in our safety cage. Now, did I bring doors? Of course I didn't. Of course I didn't. Let's go make some doors.
got six doors and it is night time so we're probably not gonna do much in regards to exploring right now just because I don't want to die again Alright, let's see here. So, we built our overworld portal. We had a horrible, horrible death. And we got everything going. I think I'm going to wrap this up. We got our armor. We got all that going on. And I'm going to cut it here. And on the next recording, we're going to go and actually explore the overworld. So gonna call it here and you guys have a good night